Hi, my name is Kale Collins. I'm a field application engineer at Gateworks. Um, previously, I made a video about building OpenWRT from source using the Gateworks um, def config for IMX6. And after I kicked that build off, um, before I ended the video, I said that I would make a follow up video. Um, on how to customize OpenWRT uh, with packages because um, the package management, OPKG in OpenWRT, unless you have your feed set up right, it's a mess. And um, that's just my opinion. I'm sure a, a lot of people would disagree with me and say, oh no, it's not. You just don't know what you're doing and they'd be right. So um, either way, what I tend to do is I build the packages into my build, or maybe bake them into my build. I'm not sure the right terminology, but um, I make the I build the packages when I make the build. That way, um, my completed image will have all the tools in it that I need, and I just do that on a case by case basis. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how I'd add uh, packages to my build. Um, earlier in the week, someone asked me about um, putting Batman into our latest build. How do I do it? And uh, they knew the packages they wanted, they just didn't know how to build the, um, the root file system with them. And so this uh, video is going to kind of address those types of questions. So what I did was my build, you can see my build complete. There is a lot of stuff and it took a while, but this is my OpenWRT build and all the output from it. So you can see all I did was, actually maybe I can just do this it won't go back far enough so I can't show you where I kicked off my build but you'll just have to take my word for it what I did was I kicked off my build with the uh, Gateworks def config and I just let it complete and so now my Gateworks def config has been loaded which we could have done just by copying it uh, to uh, dot config, but I like to build it one time through to um, just test that everything is working right because this is actually the first time I've been I've built this uh, BSP myself. Um, so anyway, so now my uh, that config is loaded. So you could copy the config from its location over dot config. Or you could just build it one time, which is how I like to do it because I feel like that could uncover issues before you're tripping over them later. So now we want to add the packages for Batman. So how do we do this? We're going to type make menu config. And this is going to take us into the menu for adding the packages. So right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press uh, slash, uh, the one next to shift with the question mark on it. Oops. And I'm just going to type the package that I want. And so one of the packages that he asked me for was um, bat ctl. And a requirement of that package I happen to know is uh, batman adv. So we'll do that first. Just like that. So we type that in right there, and we got one result. And you can see right here it says package kmod batman hyphen adv is no. And so we want to turn that to a yes. And then it says here, if I press one, it will take me to it. And if I turn this on, it will also turn these other things on. So let's do it. I'm gonna, I just pressed 1, and then it took me to the uh, package that I wanted. And here I'm going to press space bar and make it a star. And then if there's anything else in here that we want, we can turn it on. I'm hoping that um, when people watch this video, they'll just feel at ease going through this process and turning things on themselves because you can't really hurt anything. So we'll turn that on 
and then the other uh, packages they asked for. So now, oh, so I pressed escape, and after I turned it on by pressing spacebar, and now this changed to a Y, and so that means that it's enabled. So I'm going to press escape a couple more times, and now I'm going to look for some of these other packages. They asked me about a package called Alfred, which I'm not familiar with, but if I scroll down, I can see last on the list is package Alfred and equals no, so it's not turned on, but if I press the number 4 right here, it will take me to it in the menu. So I'm going to press the number 4, and it took me right to it. And if I press the spacebar, then it turns it on. And that's it. Now I'm going to hit escape a few times, and maybe find uh, the last package, which is batctl. batctl and so I think uh, there's three options here. I think we'll just go with the default. I'm not really... I haven't used Batman, to be honest. Um, so I'm not really too sure about uh, which package is right. So we'll use this one. And it's actually, it's already been turned on, so I don't need to turn it on because this is already Y. So that's it. Let's see. They asked me about something else that Mod Probe isn't here, but I would normally say use the... Um, busy box version if there is one but let's find out if it is here to be enabled busy box mod probe isn't enabled so let's go ahead and turn that on too press the number three and just press the spacebar and we'll add some other ones also because what's mod probe without ls mod and ints mod and dep mod you'd be missing those and rm mod you'd be missing those things anyway so uh, yeah that's it now I'm going to hit escape a few more times and I'm going to keep hitting it and it's going to say do you want to save your new configuration yes and that's it and now I can kick off my build again the same way I did before, except for I'm not going to use that config. I can just type make, and that'll be enough. There we go. I was kind of wondering what was going on there, but it's done now. Or, I'm sorry, it's not done. It's starting to build. Um, anyway, uh, I hope that simplified kind of a complicated topic. Um, if you have any questions about the procedure, uh, please feel welcome to contact us at support at gateworks.com. Thank you.